What's going on, investors? AK here, bringing you the noise where we analyze the market and business news that you need to know. Let's go! So Amazon wants to get into healthcare, huh? Looks like Bezos really does want a piece of every bit of economic activity there is. He's like a hungry little Bezos bear. Rawr. Sticking his fingers in every honey pot he could find. Just fingering everything in sight. Movies, music, fashion, phones, food, healthcare. Classic Bezos, right? Makes sense though. Back in 1960, healthcare was just 5% of GDP. Today, it's closer to 18. So there is a lot of money to be made there. Amazon announced that they plan to partner with Berkshire Hathaway and JP Morgan to create an independent nonprofit company to help reduce healthcare costs for their employees. What a dream team, right? Sounds great. But how the hell is that supposed to work? We all know healthcare is an absolute mess and its problems are way too complicated to be solved with two day shipping. Well, Ben Thompson has a great article explaining how he thinks things will go down. I'll link to it in the description. Contrary to popular belief, Ben thinks Amazon won't try to become its own insurance company. And that's because insurance only works at scale. You need a huge pool of people buying insurance so that the risk can be properly spread. And the larger the pool of people, the more bargaining power you're going to have over other parts of the healthcare chain. So even though together Amazon, Berkshire, and JP Morgan have tons of employees, it's still not enough to compete in that space. Instead, Amazon will stick to what it's good at, being a middleman. Just like Malcolm. The goal will be to create a marketplace between its employees and outside healthcare suppliers. Amazon would start by building a healthcare interface that's leagues better than anything else out there. Cause you know Amazon is pretty good at tech stuff. And then their employees would use that interface to choose against competing suppliers. And once that health marketplace was up and running, Amazon would expand it to every company in America. They'll keep gaining new users looking for healthcare and in the process, eventually control all the demand in the healthcare system. They'll effectively become the demand aggregator. This will in turn force all the healthcare suppliers to go to Amazon to get access to the users in that marketplace. And if they're on Amazon's platform, that means they have to play by Amazon's rules, which could mean for the first time ever, transparent pricing. One of the biggest problems with the current healthcare system is that no one knows what anything actually costs. And because no one knows, the players in the supply chain jack up the prices to scratch each other's backs. Ask yourself, how much does a prostate exam really cost? I mean, Japanese businessmen pay a lot for that type of action, but should you have to too? Having actual price transparency could really deflate healthcare costs and completely change the game. And on top of that, imagine Amazon being the middleman consolidating all that patient data in their system. Easy access in just one place would immediately help patients and their doctors. And that's not even mentioning what could happen when Amazon releases its machine learning algos on all that data. Who knows what insights we may get? And the eventual data hacker leak will be insane. And it'll give me so much stuff to talk about. Now this marketplace isn't gonna happen tomorrow. A project like this will take years, especially considering how complex healthcare is. But that's what makes Bezos one of the greatest CEOs of all time. He's always thinking 10 years ahead. The guy lives in the future. And that type of forward looking is why investors reward Amazon stock price year after year. Badass Bezos is always winning. Just look at him walking in his robot car and that awesome tactical vest he's always got on. He probably keeps all his snacks in there for when he gets hungry after being a badass all day. Probably got a little trail mix to nibble on, some muscle milk to sip on to maintain those biceps, maybe some treats for his robot pup. Damn, there's just too much style in this pic. I can't handle it. I say bring back Snazzy Bezos. Bezos. Sure, he doesn't look like an action hero at all times like the current badass Bezos, and he may not even have a robo dog, but he does have a book and his imagination. And look at that hip flexibility. It's neato, guys. Okay, sorry, Bill. Didn't mean to leave you out. You're neato too, I guess. Which Bezos do you guys prefer? And more importantly, what do you think about this Amazon health initiative? I'd love to hear you pontificate in the comments because no one knows what Amazon is really doing, so let's have some fun wondering about it. I'm still waiting for drone delivery in my house. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for notifications of new videos. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.